Welcome back to Stoneblock. And it's time to take away, <laughs> basically an episode away from making more tools to actually getting more resources and getting that sorted. So I started crafting some of these. These are compacting drawers from the storage drawers mod, just like our regular kind of drawers that we got in here. We're getting lots of paper now, we've got more stacks of paper just continually piling up. I think I'm gonna make a, make a dedicated room for these. These are brilliant. And I'm not sure if they can even make anything other than trees, but if they could, that would be great. Otherwise we'll have to go to cloches which move our little market in here. So I to make it some making some wheat and uh, those rice balls I was talking about, the, the rice themselves. And behind here, we've got our little farm. Now, I did cover this back in again. It does need to be in darkness or low light, not, not absolute darkness. So you can't put torches in here. Uh, and I did craft a watering can, um, which will you know, solve the problem immediately of getting those grown. So iron ingots water bucket and bone meal get you a watering can and that watering can is incredibly good i mean if i just um let's just get rid of some of this for a second let's just do all that so that's ungrown and you can hold right click if you want to or just shift right click and just stand there and it will start uh targeting things and start growing things and of course that will work with these as well which means that i've got ender pearls <laughs> I've got ender pearls at least enough to carry me for some time. So we will be able to get some stuff going, uh, including uh, I'm going to make a hopper first. Let's just make some chests. Uh, yeah, three chests should do. And I want to make a hopper with those. So let's just get three of those. Not that I'll need three here. Uh, let's just, just get another bit of iron. And there we go. And a vacuum hopper. Remember when I wanted one of those? Yeah, vacuum hopper. So obsidian, eye of ender, and a hopper, eye of ender, is just ender pearl and blaze. So we've got everything we need apart from the obsidian, and I need to put some of this stuff away. Because <laughs> it's just filling up my inventory. I've been making those the compacting drawers, so we'll be coming back to that in just one second. So I want one ender pearl, I want one blaze powder, and we'll just combine the two of those. That's one thing, and we've got obsidian already, so we can just combine all three of those and get ourselves a vacuum hopper. That's gonna be very useful. So what are we gonna do? I think what I'm gonna do is look at this. So behind here, we've I've built up around this, so it doesn't fall into that sort of shaft um, space anymore. I've taken one of these uh, sieve meshes out. I'll need to replace that in a second. But I crafted the auto sieve, or sieve, or sieve, however you want to pronounce that. Same kind of unit as this auto hammer. The only difference is you put a mesh in here and it starts passively um, making resources. And you'll see it's got some power because behind here I've put the, the flux duct. That is being powered by, surprise, two of these magmatic generators. So uh, they are falling behind, however but we have more than enough. So I think I'm going to make a third one. And we'll just need to put another... Uh, do I have any spare? No, I don't. Put another some more fluid up there and another generator. And then behind the scenes there, there is a um, there is this flux duct that's going underneath and back up. So we'll just need to put it... See, there it is. And we just need to put another one on top. And that'll be a simple way to get some power. Do I have any more of that fluid duct? I do. Okay, so I can just put this in there. And that just needs a magmatic generator to finish that off. Uh, magmatic. What do we, we just need uh, the furnace generators, don't we? We'll come back to that. So the other thing I want to actually create is a storage control, storage controller, draw controller, uh, draw controller, maybe. Uh, controller. There we go. All right, so this is straightforward. I've got all this stuff in my inventory. It's basically the block that you insert into to get it to spread into all of the other drawers. And it might be best to keep it to here, possibly. Depends on the range uh, of how this vacuum pop is gonna work. So we're gonna need to create uh, a block for that. So if we just put it, um, I wanna say, sort of suspended over these. So let's, let's just put a block there and let's see if it will go here. Drop this block out and then we'll put item conduit coming this way, item duct to there 
and into this corner. And then hopefully it'll start populating this stuff. And we'll just get rid of these blocks. So this is one way of doing it if you need a lot of resources at once. Otherwise, what we're going to do is also take some item duct, go down underneath here and back up into this draw controller. So I may have to make some space or something like that, or maybe remove this again later. But uh, fine for now. So let's make some item duct on some ducting because we're going to need uh, better than uh, better than just using hoppers. Really, we need proper ducting. Fluid duct, flux duct, flux duct, uh, item duct. Let's just look for item duct directly. We don't need particularly fast item duct. Uh, well, uh, yeah. Let's just go for regular item duct and we can upgrade it later. That's going to need tin and some kind of glass. I would have thought any glass is probably fine for the initial tier. And I've got. Well, I've got glass panes, but I've not got glass. Let's just get some of this cooked up into glass. I don't generally need the sand that much otherwise. Okay, there's some glass and tin. Do I have any tin cooked? I do. Fine. And we're going to need some servos. So that's going to need some redstone, a little bit more, and some iron, which I've got. So let's just get a couple of servos going. Uh, it needs iron nuggets and again glass. There we go. Do I have any iron nuggets in my inventory? No, let's just make some. There we go. So, servos. Uh, not the cobble. I'm probably going to need two, but let's make four anyway. Let's put those back. And item duct. Uh, regular kind. And you, ooh, you actually do need specific glass. Okay. That's annoying. And do we have anything that we can actually make? This is the slightly annoying thing of waiting for. <laughs> waiting for what option do you have to make stuff? Fuse quartz, yes, I get the idea. <sighs> hmm. Except any block glass hardened. Fine. Item duct opaque. We can make that with lead. It's a bit slower, probably, but uh, it shouldn't be a problem. Let's just get lead and make that. I can duct opaque. Yeah, let's just make quite a bit of it. We'll probably be using it anyway, and we'll upgrade it later. So uh, from here, yep, yeah, I'm going to go come this way and then down. And then into that, we'll get a servo in place. Switch that around. Servo can come in. And we can just say, ignore redstone, just pull all the time. And this, of course, will pull literally everything that you have. So uh, be careful. And then we want to actually just load the system. So I'm just going to dump some of this stuff off. Um, I have a trash can. But you also have a trash can available from your uh, inventory screen. And you can, of course, just, of course, dump stuff in here that you don't absolutely need at the moment. Um, let's, let's just try and dump stuff in here that, uh, that's, that's fine. Uh, nether quartz should, I'm um, out of nether quartz storage. Let's just grab some of that right in there. And, yeah, we've got enough room for a few stacks of gravel. So why don't I grab a few stacks from this? This is no longer hooked up to anything, so we can use this gravel as we need it. And now it should all get pulled into the vacuum hopper. Yep, there it goes. And those should start populating, hopefully, into these compacting drawers. Uh, unless <laughs> unless this isn't working, let's see. No, nothing yet. Uh, is it actually able to make it, or are they just slow? Uh, ah, I've not configured the output on this, have I? Uh, I need to configure the item output to be this side. Yep, there it goes. So let's just put all this back in and step back out of the way. Um, there it is. Okay, so we've got everything starting to appear. What I was hoping would happen was that these <laughs> these iron ore pieces would get automatically compacted into the um, the uh, three by three. Are they three by three? Yeah, three by three. Oh no, sorry, two by two, and that. Doesn't lead to, see appear to be working at the moment. 
So maybe not. Um, is there another type of draw? I thought it was compacting draws that did this. Draw controller, compacting draws, pull 16 stacks per draw. The alternative is if we don't do that with compacting draws, we need a separate compactor to actually make that work. And everything's just spewing all over the place probably now, or it's, um, it's run out of storage space just because I've been using compacting drawers all over the place. So this is certainly making, you know, coal blocks. It's certainly making uh, lapis blocks. Not really doing too well for our um, pieces of ore. Okay, if that's not gonna work directly, and I have now put in another item duct from here, it's slowly, uh, slowly removing the stuff all from there. I don't think I can dump this stuff in there, nope. But we can just definitely just add the stuff in by right clicking here the various bits and pieces so uh, I think diamonds I need another compacting draw for but uh, otherwise uh, we are covering most of the bases here um, yeah so we're gonna need a little bit of a different approach uh, there is the auto compressor uh, that may be worth trying and it certainly seems cheap enough so we can just do this and is that any crafting table it looks like it is so let's just convert over some of that and let's just get some crafting tables. I don't care about the amount of wood we're using, so that is perfectly fine. And uh, let's just make an auto compressor. Fine, let's see what we can do with this. Can we put it in between? And we'll, uh, I mean, we may have to bypass it if we do that, but um, let's just give this a go. That's going to get ripped into there, of course. Uh, fine, let's get out of that. Are you going to need power? Looks like you are going to need power. That's annoying, <laughs> but we do have power over here, so that's not too much of an issue. And I wonder whether what's going to happen with anything that isn't um, allowed, because we may have to put a filter on here if that's the case. So let's just get rid of this for a second. And did I actually pick that back up again or did it rip it out? No, it didn't. That's fine. Uh, we're going to have to then just get rid of each of these and just send it directly towards the wall, I think. So if we put a compressor, um, why don't we put it here maybe? Uh, yeah, that seems reasonable. And then we'll just get our duct. Anything in there? Yeah, we'll just take the last bit. Okay, then behind here, we're gonna run a, another cable just a flux cable and we'll give this some power hopefully yep it's charging and then that should do it so let's just throw some diamonds this way in fact no, we don't need diamonds we want uh, we want something that actually is compressible so let's just take uh, not one let's take a stack okay and let's just throw these out here there it goes so this should hopefully Hopefully make it this way. It's gone. Where did it go? Where's my iron? It's definitely not in here. Unless this only accepts this on a certain side. Oh no, there it is. Yep. So these are automatically going into there. How about stuff that we know is not compressible? Diamonds is one of them. Um, but is there anything else in here that we can't compress? Or we don't want to compress? Um, let's just take 64 of these. They shouldn't do anything. So let's just drop them in there, drop some coal, some diamonds, some emeralds. And then uh, I'm just gonna put another item duct underneath if I can. Let's just cut through here and we'll get that in, item duct. My main concern here is what happens if it's only an input and it doesn't get processed by this thing? Will it actually be acceptable? Uh, will it work essentially? Um, there's some stone. Okay. So is it drawing that back out? Um, that's not being pulled yet. Unless it's doing something else, of course, that's entirely possible. 
or unless it's blocked by something. Let's make some more compacting drawers as well. And uh, we don't even actually need compacting drawers for most of them, in fact. So regular drawers will do the job as long as I can put the right stuff in it. Uh, for example, this don't need compacting drawers for. So if we take those out, uh, let me just get the right thing to put back in. Uh, so we want, um, well, let's just take them out. See what it tries to put in. Yeah, tries to put the same things back in. Uh, let me just get some cobblestone then and uh, put this excess stuff up here. So one there, one there. Okay, so it now should have enough in a room and we can configure the stuff that goes into the compacting side of things if it actually is working. Yeah, that's ignored. Okay, so the iron ore chunks did leave. So they should. Ah, I hate it when he does this. <laughs> there we go. So that should have gone into... Yeah, there we go. So we do get the iron ore chunks, but that only works for stuff that it can compact. It isn't taking this extra stuff that is being included in here anyway. So we, we are unfortunately going to have to have some kind of filter. Okay, so filters then work a lot like servos. You put them on the uh, the end of item ducts. So let's just get this in here. And we're probably going to need two of these. What are you short of? Iron. Well, that's not something that we are short of. Okay, and let's just put these back. So uh, we're going to have to rearrange how this is going to work. First of all... We are going to have to take away all of this. So let's just get that back. And there we go. So this and this is going to be able to put stuff in here. So if anything, I want to... Um, hmm, I'm not sure if we can change the priority. So I'm not sure how it hunts for things. However... Uh, we can also restrict, eh, no, we can't restrict here. We're gonna have to restrict at this end. So let's just put, um, let's just put some more item ducts in place. We want to run it uh, slightly differently. I think we want to run it something like that. We'll just remove that in a second. Okay, I need my crescent hammer. It should be in one of these pipes. Uh, pipes, boxes. Uh, there it is. Crescent hammer can just let me configure which of these uh, actually should be an input. So uh, I can. Whoops. Not sure if I have to actually replace it manually. I might have to add another, another mode for the crescent hammer, but uh, that is fine there. Uh, I need to remove that one and that one. We're not going to have anything there. So. Filter, we're going to control what goes on to this side, and this side is going to be a servo. So if we can pull from that, that is, uh, depends whether it's allowed. All right, so we'll turn it on and just try. That's fine. There's only two inputs to this system, both coming from the various sieves. And here we've got the compressor. So we, uh, we're already getting some stuff, um, and it's also feeding in stuff that we, we can't actually deal with. There it is. So, filter, what options do we get? Um, blacklist or whitelist? We've only got three options here. We may have to go to a larger filter. Uh, let's blacklist some things, first of all. Um, let's blacklist, and I'm going to get some stuff out of my inventory. Uh, let's just put stuff in here like this. Uh, let me just blacklist coal, for instance. So coal shouldn't go in here. Uh, diamonds shouldn't go in here, certainly. And um, emeralds, presumably. Yeah, we'll just throw those in the regular system. Okay, so all three of the filters are now set. I'm just going to... Do we have anything else coming through here? No, I'm going to clear this out with my inventory. So uh, let's just put this away. And the emeralds, that will give us the room for these two.
Now we should still end up with a few of the... Um, why won't you take diamonds? You should be able to take diamonds. How very odd. Anyway, um, we only should get chunks out of this now. So I'm going to need to connect the bottom of this up and we'll see. So if we connect up the bottom of this, we don't want it to combine with that. So we'll have to go down and around. There we go. Put a server back on. Configure that just to export all the time. And I've just jammed myself into a <laughs> Ah, uh, can't get out. Um, hmm, yes, let's put that back down. And I'm going to need to just knock that block out temporarily. Fine, now is all of that leaving. These should figure out. Yep, they are figuring it out. So the inputs are only inputting these, but we should get stuff still actually trying to get into that compressor that it can't deal with. For example, this it can't deal with. I think that's maybe the only thing it can't. Yeah, so we're getting chunks otherwise, and I think I'll replace these with regular drawers now that the compacting ones, you just, you know, there's no point to them. And, uh, but these, these kind of things, we will keep in compacting drawers. So I think I'll move both of those down into this, and then we should be okay. So I'm going to just get into my inventory, and then we'll come back once I've rearranged a few things. There we go, it's all rearranged. The one thing it can't actually input is those those chunks of infinity, or whatever they're called, grains of infinity. Whoops, let's just grab some stuff while I've been rearranging. And to deal with that, we can just put this extra input here. And this is the bypass that goes outside this system. Um, we're going to need to deal with it for this as well. Um, yeah, so I may have to rearrange that a little bit. Oh no, in fact, it should be automatic, that's, uh, I think. Uh, well, we'll see very shortly. If that's outputting this, uh, these are exceptions. So we've got to be careful. It's going to have to go. No, that's fine. Yeah, it'll go this way, but we're going to need that extra. We're going to need that extra tier of filter. So if I put the tier filter here, change this to whitelist, not blacklist, and just grab some of this, we can set whitelists on this filter. So it will accept those grains of infinity, but nothing else. And then that can go in there. That should then leave these. Yep, off they go. And those hopefully should leave, because they should be able to now find a way path through to this uh, once it decides it wants them. Lapis we're also going to have to deal with as well. So maybe I should just craft that next 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 version of the filter. Uh, hopefully that has more options. So what do we need for that? Craft it directly, we can upgrade it with just invar. So we've already got some invar. I think I made some already. Yeah, we got some, so that's fine. Let me just disconnect this just very temporarily. I'm just going to disconnect. Um, hmm, interesting. Let me just turn off the output. That requires high. This shouldn't be fine because it's not got anything in it, I don't think. No, that's fine. So let's just get rid of... Do I need the twilight? <laughs> Off it goes. There we go. And how do I re-enable this? Is it just right-clicking? Left-clicking? Shift-right-clicking? Hmm, I'll just put it back down again. I've forgotten how to re-enable the, uh, the nodes. Okay, so let's put that back. And um, I'll just do this as well. Um, yeah, I really need to remember how to do replace those nodes. It's fine for now, though. OK, so I've got two filters. I've got two invar. So that means I get a hardened filter. Do I get more options here now? I do. Good. So we just want the various bits and pieces that we can actually include. And this is the bypass that can, can take the others. So we'll just put that in there as well. And we're just going to need one of each thing. So lapis, emerald, uh, coal, diamond, that, and that's about it, which is good because that is that six things. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Well, maybe there's something else we'll see. All right, so this is going to be whitelist. Uh, four, five. 
So you're only going to allow that. This is, uh, we can set this to blacklist, do the same so it'll accept anything else. So that should take care of itself as well. There we go. This can auto output. Servo again. And now, once I take this out, that should be self-managing. I don't think I should need anything else. I might want to just send this up and around just to, so I don't avoid a kind of bit of a, <laughs> a problem there. But uh, we just put another item back here. And that is everything, I think. So let me just put the stone back. There we go. And let's try this with a load of different stuff. So uh, let's just get rid of you, uh, all of you. That should be fine. Are you finding the root for those? Hopefully you are. But uh, no point trying it with just a few things. Why don't we try it with a lot? Uh, there we go. Get all of you in there. And this should start populating stuff. <laughs> I don't want to get too close because I, I may well start picking stuff up. But yeah, it's already it's already sieving. I need to make a diamond mesh. Let me just make one of those. Just that last one can actually populate. I just need four and then some string. Five. There we go. Make a mesh. Cool. And that's done now. There we go. Okay, so all three by three are enabled to do mass stuff. And if we don't want mass stuff, then um, we have uh, our automated filtering system here, our automated sifting, sifting system here. And I'm gonna to need to make that other magmatic generator. Why don't we just do that now? Uh, magmatic, because it's not, it's not got enough power yet. Straightforward, we just need gold, some redstone, furnace generator, which is iron, redstone. So lots of iron, lots of redstone and a chest which should be pretty quick to make once I have some chests. I keep running out of chests and just leaving them somewhere. I'm never quite sure where I've leave, left them, though. Okay, so uh, gold we're running a little bit short on, so I need to probably make some more. Uh, we'll just get some more iron. Um, gold ore pieces come from a different source, I think. Uh, maybe sieving sand or sieving dust or something, but uh, that's going to be okay. So oh, I need redstone. And I've got 14 ender pearls there as well. So that's going to do well. Uh, furnace, I need just some cobblestone. Straight forward. Clear the grid. Uh, back up one, we need a machine block. I think I've got an excess of machine blocks somewhere, but it's, there's no, no harm in making both of those, the furnace generator. I need a lava bucket, which is very trivial now. We just turn to our right, grab another bucket of lava, and we're done. So magmatic generator. And we will just put it right here. And you're online, you're filling it with lava. And hopefully we are gonna not run out of lava. Generally, this is pretty fast at refilling. So I think it's faster than three generators. This is now full. You are filling, as are you. So we are running, actually, we're running ahead of all of this. So this is working automatically now. And we have enough spare storage. And if I wanted to put uh, just those in the right place, I could just put a couple of steps here and then just, well, I just want it to be symmetric, <laughs> even though uh, the actual stuff that goes into it isn't symmetric because we don't have enough input yet. In any case, that is going to work. However, as soon as we start thinking about uh, putting other stuff through this mass system, it's going to have problems because we don't have, for example, if, let's say we wanted that gold. Gold, um, or pieces, comes from sieving sand. So we're going to get extra stuff in here that we can't handle yet. Nickel, osmium, um, I mean, the fact that we're using black and white list means if I put cactus, it's probably going to have a problem with cactus seeds or cocoa beans. It's not going to be able to find a place for them, but everything else will go through that compacting 
um, auto compressor and we will end up with stuff coming out of it but uh, I will end up with just blockages of cactus so I'm going to need either even better tier of filter or some other way of doing it I haven't quite figured that out yet so yeah we'll figure it out uh, together so that's today's episode, a nice sifting system. Uh, you can just use the 4x4 drawers instead of using the uh, the single drawers if you want to, these ones. And it depends on how many stacks of this stuff you want to actually um, acquire. Later on, of course, I think what we're going to do is from that um, compressor, because this is all, only ores, we'll be feeding into an auto smelting system. But for now, um, we can have, let's see, um, iron ore chunks. So if I just get a stack of this, this will turn to two stacks when we put it into our smeltery, which is more than enough um, for me to, to deal with any kind of shortage. And uh, that's pretty good. So I'm pretty happy with that. We've got everything running. And we've got automatic resource generation, which means I should probably just fill that back up. And it looks nicely original. Uh, yeah, I'm happy. Uh, apart from the occasional bit of ore that pops out. Okay, so if you've got any ideas for improvements, do let me know. I'm more than happy to hear them. And we'll continue next episode, probably not with more sifting, but uh, with, you know, another episode. Maybe an exploration episode, just because we keep it varied. Heading towards the stronghold, perhaps. Hope to have you join me for that one. Feel free to like, subscribe and share if you've enjoyed the episode. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.